Okay, guys, we are back with Flame Victim vs. Ample Game 3. RS will decide the series as Ample brings a Mega Altaria team with a Starmie. It's probably it's look like it looks like bulky offense balance ish. So I assume that's gonna be a bulky talent for not a SD. I mean, it could still be SD, but I assume it's gonna be just a bulky variant. As we see, it's Toxic Starmie, which is a pretty cool set to beat stuff like Mega Slowbro. I mean, he also has a Weewell, but Mega Slowbro can potentially wall Weewell. So we do gonna. As he does predict the Pharaohson on the Ample predicted the Vault Switch brought in his Pharaohson. Flame Victini goes for Wolverine predicting that. I think we're gonna see the Landris Kalio come out. Yeah, Landris. This Ample goes for Leechy. Interesting play. I think he could have gone for Hazards. As we see it's a knockoff Landris, which is cool for Flame Victini to weaken this Pharaohson. Damn, they're playing so fast and everything, like, I can't follow. Like, last series, uh, game 2 was so fast. Not sure why he went to Rotom instead of... That kind of confirms to me that he doesn't have HP Fire on Ladi. Like, if you have HP Fire, you could go Ladi on this. This Ferrazon is just a nuisance to FV, because, like, Lee sheet everything. Get up Spikes, as he's gonna go up the Rocks, I assume. Yup. And Ample's gonna throw up his own rocks or go for a U-turn. Yup. And Mega God of War can just click Hyper Voice here. Because the Pharaoh Zone is low, it's probably gonna get 2 hit killed with rocks and burn. Talonflame can't switch in if it's bulky because of hazards. So yeah, this is a free Hyper Voice. Um, Landers is probably gonna be able to live one from full, but it's gonna do like 85. Like, it's gonna do a lot, basically. Um, all the 8 abilities got nerfed in Gen 7 from I think 1.3 to 1.2, but they still hit pretty hard in Gen 7, but yeah, this is Gen 6. The first one easy gets 2 hit killed, doesn't even need a second hit, just dies to the burn. And yeah, if this is Bandit Weeble, I can see a Pursuit coming, it's kind of 50-50. I can see Flame Victini staying in on the Pursuit. Other than that, what does Ample lose from clicking knockoff? Like, to be honest, Ample doesn't lose much from clicking knockoff. I mean, he can flex and click Pursuit, but... Oh, it's Protect! That's dank. So if he sees what he locks himself into, if it's Bandit. It could still be Live Orb, but I assume it's Bandit. And he doesn't have good switches. He can go Keldeo, but Hazard plus Knockoff and losing the item is just not really what Keldeo would appreciate. So Maybe he can stack his Landris here. I'm pretty sure Rotom might get Tweakier with Rocks and Poison. But they're playing too fast, so I'm not trying to culk out here. He does just sack the guard to the band and knock off. It's not like he really had a switch in. <laughs> he said pursuit here, why not? Uh, yeah, nah. My man is dirt. But yeah, that was a bandit we were pretty sure. Otherwise, it wouldn't have killed. <laughs> when you scout it and then stay in to die anyway. I mean, I don't know why the thing interesting and why he said that. Cause like it's not like he had a good switch in. I mean yeah he could have gone killed, but he does double out into Lali Break in the Star Me. And he is gonna drop a Draco here. The Landers is gonna take five million. Okay. <laughs> I thought he would Draco because he doesn't want the Weeble to come in on a defog, but yeah. I can completely understand that play obviously. Flame Victini is better than me, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, Gadawa would would have put in some work, like, but now that he got rid um, with default of the rocks, like Talonflame could check the Gadawa. So I assume this is just a life of Bladios. And like he doesn't lose anything from clicking Draco Minion now. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my narration today, it's kinda weird. I mean, if you ample, what is the least useful member that you could sack off here? Like, Landris gets beaten by a lot, but he decides to sack Starmie. Yeah, 
And now he's gonna go for Pursuit on knockoff. He does Pursuit if we both stays in. It guaranteed killed, so he had no reason not to click it. But the problem is this lets the Landros in if you click knockoff. Mm -mm -mm. I think the Landros also would have left the knockoff anyway, and intimidate maybe. But it is a free um, U turn on Stealth Rock for Flaming Victini. I think we're gonna see the Stealth Rock because there's a Talon Flame on the other side. So he wants to pressure the Talon Flame at the Altaria too. The Altaria can win if. Um, Ampo gets rid of the Jirachi. Um, we didn't see a Jirachi yet, right? I think that's a Scarf Jirachi in the Specs Keldia. But he throws up the rocks, and I can see Ampo. Either going for his own rocks, but his own rocks don't do that much, to be honest. But it is a huge run for Lame McTeeny, because Ampo can't get rid of the hazards now, his spinner died. HPS is not really a thing in Gen 6 on Landris, it's just super rare, like it's rent sometimes. But yeah, he doesn't have good Kelly switchings other than Altaria. And pre Mega Evolution, Altaria drops to an icy wind, so that's pretty risky to go Altaria. Especially if it's specs, Hydro Pump would probably blow the Altaria away after rocks anyway. Like it would 2 it KO it, I think. So yeah, I think he's gonna Hydro Pump or Icy Wind. But Hydro Pump is overall his best play, as long as he hits. If he does decide to sack off the Wee Well. I guess he just, just go for Skull, he doesn't want to miss. That's understandable as he can potentially burn the Altaria and it still would have forced the Altaria to roost if it came in. I assume we're gonna see the Jirachi or Landris switch here. Yeah, I can see a hard Jirachi. The only way Altaria can beat Jirachi was like, I mean it can run Earthquake on a Dragon Dance set or it can run Fire Blast on a mixed set or that's, like Fire Blast wouldn't do too much because that mixed set doesn't run much special attack or special attack at all, but another option is Body Slam to get a para on. So he didn't Mega Evolve them potentially to keep Natural Cure. Some Altaria also run Mono attacking just with Return and Refresh to get rid of status or they also run Heal Bell sometimes. Um, I haven't seen Altarian forever. He doesn't mega evolve. So he wants to potentially break an earthquake there. But he still he just still just wants to keep his natural cure. As we see it's a leftover Jirachi. Which makes me think that this Padaf Jirachi. It doesn't have Icy Wind. He's going for the para here. He gets the para on the first try, which is a bit annoying. And now he's gonna try to flinch this down as he gets it. Okay. So that's that's a sad way to end it off. A body slam para into two flinches, but Flame Victini probably wins this now, because the Altaria dies to hazards, the Talon Flame takes 50%. He's gonna try to parrot the Landris as um, Ampu saved his Altaria's fall and get some helmet damage off. So we're gonna see the. He doesn't really need the Jirachi for much, to be honest. He can try to fish for a para. Um, he can still keep it, obviously, because he can try to parrot the Talon Flame. Ampo does just take some hella damage. And the Talon is just gonna go for off missing and dodging an edge, is what I'm trying to say. But it's an acrobatics Talon Flame, which is pretty interesting because it doesn't take recoil from Brave Bird. And also, this Landers didn't have Stone Edge, um, which is probably for the stall matchup to get rid of the Violet and Chansey. Or to just get rid of leftovers from Pokemon that switch into Gardevoir, like. Um, like Pharaoh Stone, so Gardevoir can like either the Twit KO them. But Yeron is gonna go for a Volt Switch slash Hydro Pump here. Uh, if this is a bulky Talon Flame, I think he has to hit a Hydro Pump because if a Roost on a Volt Switch would be bad for Flaming Teeny. Yeah, the, the Talon Flame can definitely win if it dodges a Hydro Pump. This game is not over yet. So he's just a Talon Flame spread with SD, like in the Roost here, Volt Switch is gonna be negative percent. We'll just gonna bounce off. As he does just attack going for the dodge, doesn't get the dodge. If he got the dodge there, I think he just won. But yeah, Flame VT does win 2 and 1. This series. Like he won um He moves on to top 8 of Smoke to 23 is basically what I'm trying to say here. And um, they, these guys are playing so fast, I hope the series later on they will play a bit uh, slower so I can try to analyze better. He said good luck in the remainder. 
good sportsmanship there from my man. Okay, I don't really know him. I don't know why I said my man. But I think he does know my YouTube. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. That was such a fast series. Like, the, the Sun and Moon game was wild. Like, I don't really know. The Black and White game was like 60 minutes, but also that was kind of fast. Actually, in the Black and White game, there were some times where I didn't play that fast. I mean, after he got the power on Altair, it was just pretty rough. But yeah, congratulations to Flame VT uh, for moving on to uh, top eight, and I'll just wanted to link something. Now, wh what I meant to say is I wanted to show you guys what other matchups we have. If you don't know, if maybe I was an attorney, so it was martial law. So it was martial laws today. And plan was Alexander should be today. So that's gonna be hype and Craig might also be playing aka Bengay the Gold with Alcant. So Flame Victini is the next after Kick Asser and Steve Angelo to move on to top eight. Thank you guys for watching Doc signing out.